So we're in the kitchen with Chef Jean-Pierre to find out what is on the menu tonight. Hey, Chef. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing great, how are you? Good, good, good. Ready to work tonight? I, yes, of course I'm ready to work. But you guys have been here for two years. Yes. And you're doing some incredible stuff. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's find out what we got going on. Okay, we want to show you a couple of stuff tonight, you know, a couple of appetizers. First, I wanted to go like a summer style. So we do like a nice uh, molecular gazpacho. Oh, okay. So usually gazpacho is, you know, all the vegetable blended, you would get like more red and everything. We just uh, clear it, let it uh, sit for a while. Okay. So I will put that in my uh, beautiful glasses. Right. So it's super clean, but you have all the different flavor, all the vegetable. So you ah. just see more like a tomato water, but you have the celery, you have everything, basil, you oh, know, yummy. cucumber. And, but the trick is that I want to top that with a tomato caviar. Oh, really? Yes. Very nice. Here we go. And that, Fancy. we are making that. Oh, look at that. Here we go. So if we are lucky, I want to show you. So you take your crazy syring. Here we go. And have a, like a cold oil. Yeah. And you just have to let it drop very slowly. And every time the tomato will go in contact with the oil. Wow. It will create a miniature caviar. It looks at this ah, cool. That is very cool. Okay, so what we want to do is just, you know, we have done like a tiny crackers. Yeah. I just add that on top. So the client will get like, a, you know, the cracker with the caviar and get and the shot. Nice. And you know the secret, I put like a vodka in my tomato. I like Almost it. a Bloody that's Mary very, that, caviar. No, that's very, very, very fancy. But a client could actually rent the space, yep. rent you, they can come in here and do what we're doing. That's exactly, I mean, our next idea, you know, what we want to try to develop now is to have this location as a unique location where we can create between the pop-up restaurant, but also you have the dream to have your restaurant or do a night with your friend. You want to cook with us, we will set up the menu with you and we can, you know, create the, the all, all party so it can be super fun. The whole thing. You that's, can. That's fun. I mean, there is no limit to that. I mean, you, you, you know, we can create something, you know, you offer that to your wife, she don't know anything. And at night time, you are here with all the guests and she has cooked all the night. <laughs> that can be, I mean, I, I can, it can be That's awesome. perfect, that would be, that would be perfect for me. Yeah, I think it would, it would be super Man, cool. Man, this looks great. Yep, here we go. It's just a little garnish on top. Yeah, like a... Um, a little freshness. Yes, sir. Next one, we will do like a seared day tuna. Same, same thing, you know. We use an Asian spoon. Yeah. I like that. We have done like a, a, a yuzu. Yuzu is a Japanese uh, uh, lime. I will just put that in the bottom of my uh, little spoon. spoon. Did you notice that you're doing all the work? Oh yeah, that's true. Oh crap. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have said anything. Yeah, you should shut up. Here <laughs> It looks. All right, I, so I just seal my, my uh, tuna just before. Very so you nice. just season it, sesame seed, whatever, and just seal it. And that looks great. Here we go. That. Now you guys have been catering all over town for the last two years. Oh, and I mean, even more than that. But you know, we have our location for two years, but we have been in town for like uh, almost fourteen years now. Fourteen years? Yes. So wow. definitely, we you we have been all over the place. You've been all over the place, and you know your stuff. And obviously, you do a phenomenal job. So what do what do we have here? Oh. I say that I just abuse it. So that's a yuzu caviar. Oh wow. Same. So just put a little bit on top. Just a little. Yeah, yeah. I always, I always go overboard. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I oh, see that. that. But that's cool because you will get this uh, citrusy flavor. Oh, no. And you know, just to balance, yeah. I made like a, a like a syrup, a little bit spicy syrup that I will just add a drop on top. Oh my god. Well, I know. I, I, I'm out of control. All right, can I taste it? Yeah, sure. All right, here we go. Mmm. Oh my. Good. That is delicious. Phenomenal. Oh, you know what? I oh. just forgot that one, but that's a, that's okay. What, what is that's it? That's a. I ju we just find out it's a wasabi, uh, 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 like a wasabi sesame seeds. Wow! So I can't wait for everybody to taste this. But guys, let me tell you who's on our on location show. Well, first of all, it's this guy, Chef Jean Pierre, is on the show. Also, we have Garrett Patiani's on the show, and our musical guest, Reem Garcia. 
Wow. So let's go and check it all out, shall I'm we? I'm sure. Let's do let's it. Let's go. See how I work these? No, you're not supposed to look at the camera. Yeah, but he's he's, he's taking my skills in. There we go. Guys, did you guys enjoy what you had today? I mean, me and the chef, we were back in the back working very hard for you guys. Did you? Did, did you, you were great. Was I you great? Were, did, you were great. Come on, was that like really, really good or what? Fantastic. Should I become a chef? Yes. <laughs> I think that's bullcrap. I don't think I'm going to become a chef, but I am excited to be here. So you're going to be performing two songs for us tonight and for the whole group, right? Yes. Yes, I am. Two original. They're, uh, it's called Make You Mine, and then the other one is Beautiful. Nice. Yes. I am looking forward to hearing them. Um, I might sing it for you. I don't know. Oh, ah, whoa. Look out there. <laughs> look out there. But when we come back... You're gonna uh, hear this young man perform, and we're gonna do a little talk with Gary Patty Annie. We'll be right back right after this. Everyone loved the appetizers. I think that's something to celebrate. But for you guys, it's Tammy's helpful tips. Cheers. Thanks, chef. Hi, I'm Tammy Grable, owner of Las Vegas Woman Magazine, and a question I get a lot is, what's my favorite book? My favorite book of all time is The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. Agreement number one is be impeccable with your word. Say what you mean, keep your commitments, have integrity with your word. It is so much less pressure and stress if you just keep your commitment and say what you're going to do. Gossip is also a negative thing, and it's not being impeccable with your word. When you gossip about someone, it doesn't tell you about who the other person is. It tells you about you or a person that likes to gossip. So rule number one, be impeccable with your word. As hard as this may seem to do, don't take anything personally. Nothing anybody does or says about you has anything to do about you. It has to do with their reality and what they're living in. So when you are immune to the actions and opinions of other people, you won't be the victim of needless suffering. 
Rule number two, don't take anything personally. And rule number three, don't make assumptions. Have the courage to ask for what you want. And if you don't understand something, have the courage to ask for what it means. A lot of misunderstandings can be avoided if you just don't make assumptions. And what's the fourth agreement? Always do your best. Your best is going to be different day to day. Some days you're gonna feel healthy and vibrant and your best is gonna be great that day. And another day you may be a little under the weather and sick, so your best is gonna be different that day. Don't be too hard on yourself, just do your best in that day. And there you have it, those are the four agreements. If you just live by those four agreements, you will surely have peace in your day-to-day -day life. The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. It changed my life years ago and I promise you it'll change yours. All right, we, hey, thank you, Tammy Grable, for those helpful tips. It's always nice to get some, some help every so often. We want to thank Tammy Grable, Grable for that. Are you guys enjoying yourselves? Are you having some, yeah, you having some fun? Nice. Yes, I mean, it's just, a, it's just a fantastic atmosphere, Chef. Thank you, thank that, you. That you guys create here at The Art of Cooking. And, I, and personally, I think everybody's enjoying themselves. Everybody seems to enjoy. And very soon, Word on the street, very soon, there is going to be a chef's table happening here. Definitely. Chef's table and uh, like, uh, uh, you, you plan to invite somebody here, you cook for them in the back and you get all your friends in the front. It, it can be a lot of fun. Love, love it. Fun. Love it. You guys have to check out the folks here at Art of Cooking. You're going to love them. We'll be right back right after this. We are back here at the Art of Cooking in the Kitchen with Chef Jean-Pierre, and it is time for dessert. Okay. So it looks like you guys have taken stuff that had been done and just doing something completely different with it. Yeah, you know, we are, we are not regular people. We are looking for new stuff all the time. I love it. Uh, so, in fact, we have like a, like a lemon tartlet. Ah, but that does not look like not at your all. average tartlet. Yeah, exactly. So here, mm -hmm. you have a lemon one, mm. and here you have a raspberry one. Oh. So we have a lemon light cream inside. Yes. And here, that one is also a basil and a white chocolate. Okay, so it is not done yet. It's so not I done yet. Eat, oh, okay. I mean, we, eat, I'd eat it just I like that. It's <laughs> cool, but yeah. Okay, what I want to do is bring back the, the, the idea of the lemon meringue, and we want to finish by a little bit of meringue on top. Okay. Very nice. You know, very, very simple. And here oh. is a tool. Whoa, whoa. What's happening here? What? Ah, very nice. Look at that. You know, look at that. Nice. You can add like a, a small piece of sugar for decoration. Sugar. We can have a nice flower again. Nice. I love look the at flowers. That. that looks great. That's a cool lemon That's tart. That's a cool lemon tart, man. Okay, and let's do the raspberry one. Okay, so what are we doing with that one? The raspberry one, we need definitely to show the raspberry. So you, know, you need to bring new, new ideas, you know? Yeah, because I would have just, eat, just ate it without, the, I would have just ate it. I know, <laughs> and because we have done like a, like a basil mousse, I can even bring a, like a, a tiny piece of basil, you know, on it, just to remind people. This is what it is. Very nice. There we go. And we have like a small, tiny cracker and chocolate. That's that, a, is, that, is, that is precision. That's a raspberry tart, monsieur. That is art. And I, and, and, I, and I absolutely love it. So guys, here's the deal. You guys are going to be checking out 60 Seconds Around Vegas with Angel Mendoza while I dig into these tarts. See you shortly. Man, this is great. Ah! <laughs>
I thought you were supposed to be doing 60 seconds around Vegas with Angel Mendoza. What's going on? Is that today? Yes! Oh, man. Um, I think I empty stomach. I, uh, what do you think? I How do you eat this? Are you kidding me? We'll be right back right after this. We'll be back. Welcome to Celebrity Titty Chat Chat with your girl, Bam Bam, Miss Bam. <laughs> oh, y'all. This season, executive producer Mark R. Johnson asked me to go out and, and find some of the former guests of the Will Edwards show to find out where are they now. So that is exactly what your girl did. Trying to find out where is he now? And who is he? It's Illusion and Seth Grable, y'all. Ooh, hey, Seth. What's up, Miss Pam? How are you? I'm great, thank you. How are you? Ooh, I'm doing fantastic. Ooh, you are cuter in person than you are on TV. <laughs> I'm gonna say thank you to that. Thank you. You are I'll, so I'll welcome. Take it. Okay. So what's going on? Show. Well, since I've been on the Will Edwards show, I've been traveling all around the world. We actually, um, my Tammy and I got married. Oh, that's right! They are newlyweds. That's they just right. got married. The Grammys. The Grammys. Oh, that's right. right. I saw so that. We, we did a big thing on the Grammys. I was in the audience there, just in the back corner on the side there. And I saw y'all. I was like, oh, hey, son. but you didn't see me though. Oh, I was trying to push that Tammy show into a closet and take that dress and put it on myself. <laughs> I would not do that. We love ourselves. So can't be great below oh. here, y'all. Oh, yeah. I saw the pictures. I've been following you on Facebook and Twitter. And I've been following you around town. I've been in the bushes following you. Stalking. You in the bush <laughs> I would never tell you I was stalking you if I was really stalking you. Oh, man, you're scaring me now. Ooh, don't worry me. about <laughs> us, see? You just got a big old fan in Miss Pam. I'm a big old fan. I'm a big old fan. I'm a fan of yours. Oh, you know what? The, hey, I appreciate that. Well, I appreciate listen, that. Well, listen, we want to thank you for coming in thank here you. and sharing with everybody what you're up to. Well, let me show you one more thing here. Hold out your hand. Hold out your hand just like this. Like, like this? Yeah, just like that. Oh, okay. that's, a, that's a nice hand, man. Hey, oh, Pam. Okay, here, just oh, like that. Oh. And close your eyes. What I want you to do is close your eyes. Okay. Now, just feel the vibrations. I'm going to give you some energy. Ready? Mm hmm Oh, oh. You better Watch. be careful. Oh, oh, oh. All right, open up your eyes. Oh. About how many times did I touch you? Oh, it had to be about six or seven times because that's Miss Pam's point. <laughs> Aud audience, how many times did I touch her? That's right. <laughs> Miss Pam, I didn't touch you at all. What? I didn't touch you oh. at all. Hmm. You are a trickster. You're a little trickster. <laughs> You're going to have to watch the playback. I will watch the playback. We want to thank you for coming on. Y'all got to check out Travis Grable when he has a show in your area. Well, we got to go because there's so much to do. We'll see you next time right here on Celebrity Titty Chat Chat with your girl, Bam Bam Miss Bam. <laughs> oh, you didn't catch me. You want to do it now? <laughs> Bam Bam Miss Bam. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to our on location show here at The Art of Cooking. We have had a phenomenal evening. We are now into our dessert. So I thought we'd just sit down and catch up with one of our special guests. It's Garrett Patiani from Garrett's Gay God. Hey Garrett, how hey, are you? Great, how are you? I'm doing great, great, man. Are you enjoying yourself? I'm having a fantastic time. This place is awesome. I I'm, love it. I know, it's just a cool place. Now, Garrett was on the show in uh, season three. Season three, yeah. And so we said, hey, come on back. Let us know what you, what you got going on. And you have a lot going on. A lot has changed in season three. Uh, Garrett's Gay Guide has expanded. So uh, aside from being just online, it's now in print. We've teamed up with Q Vegas magazine. And inside of the magazine, you can actually rip out the version of the magazine. And it folds down into a nice pocket size oh. uh, version. So that way we can uh, just have it on you. It tells you what to do every day of the week. There's maps on there. Tells you. Wow. Yeah, you can always check up with the latest issue of Q Vegas or online to make sure you know what's going on and up to date. That, always changing. So. No, that is great. Now, word on the street is that you guys have a have a marketing company now. Yes. Yeah, so, what the? 
a separate company. It uh, does social media, uh, media marketing, and uh, advertising. So what we've done is we've uh, consulted for a lot of large nightlife companies, uh, properties on Strip, and charity groups to get and, them noticed. And, and celebrities. And some celebrities. I've heard. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> so it's been great. It's been expanding exponentially. And uh, I'm excited for all the stuff that we have to get people noticed. Man, I, th I think it's great. I think it's, I think it's great. I mean, I remember when you came in yeah. in season three, and now you guys have grown so rapidly. I almost can't believe it sometimes. <laughs> it's so fast. I'm like, I look back on it. How did this happen I know, so what quickly? What the heck is going on? And the other thing is uh, the events. I got to attend a couple of the events. Yeah, we've produced some of our own events in addition to uh, helping other people get noticed, and those events are new. They're changing all the time. Uh, some of them travel around to different locations every week. Some of them are monthly, uh, quarterly, and even some annual events that we are doing now. No, it's great. I mean, the, the, the weekly events, you, you travel to different venues, so it really kind of gets us out of our comfort zone yeah. a little bit, and we get to see some of the great stuff that's happening in Vegas. Familiar faces in a new environment. It's awesome. You get to explore with your friends. What better way to do it? Love it. Love it. Dude, thank you so much you. for coming on. We really yeah. appreciate it. Thank you. It's Garrett Battiani. Check out Garrett's Gay Guide. You can find out what's happening in Las Vegas all over. And now our musical guest is a very talented singer, songwriter. He's also a very good friend of mine. It's Rain Garcia. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you, man. You, would you like some... Would you like some? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Cheers. Hey, cheers. <laughs> Attention, so I better have a ton of motivation. Give me a chance to make you mine.